Hello everyone, I'm Nitya Gauri and in this video we will see how to execute different test cases in X-ray. So let's get started. Like other issue types, test execution can also be created using this create button. Let's click here. Here we have an option to create a test execution. Now what is test execution? Well, we can say test execution is an activity in which we run the tests and ensure that the functionality is fully tested. We also document the results. Also log the defects found in this activity. Well, test execution also ensures that the test environment is similar to production environment. X-Ray has decoupled test cases with test execution. That is, you can create as many test executions as you want for a particular test case. So let's create test execution similar to test cases and preconditions. Again, the status is test execution will follow depends on what is defined in the workflow. Summary. Provide a good summary of test execution. Test execution for conditions analogies. You can add the components provide the necessary attachments, write down in details what this test execution is all about. The reporter is taken automatically by the system for who is creating this test execution. Here we can link the issue with the test case, add the versions, assignee, provide the right priority, Add the labels if you want to, select the right epic, select the right sprint and click the create button. Let's open this test execution. For test execution also we have an extra tab added over here and this is tests. Let's click on the tests tab. It brings us to this tests section where we have to specify what all test cases will run through this test execution. Since there are none over here, let's add a few. Here we can add new test cases or we can choose from existing test cases and we also have an option to add the tests from test sets. We will cover test sets later. For now, let's click on existing tests. Here again, we have three options to add the test cases. We can either select a particular test case or we can perform a search based on certain criteria or we can write a jQL and then search for the test cases with respect to your jQL. For example, here we can select single or multiple test cases to be associated. Click on add selected. Now we have added a test over here. Here if we see a table has been added with respect to different values of the specified test case like rank, key, the type of the test case, data sets involved, defects associated with it, status etc. And then we have an actions menu where we can assign this test case to someone, change the rank, make changes to the dataset, archive the test cases, remove the test cases or execute it. Okay, now let's come on to this button. This button is used to open the execution page. Let's click on the same. As we can see, there's a lot information which can be provided over here with respect to running the tests. Now here's a timer which we can use if we want to record how much time each execution is taking. Let's click on the timer. The timer has started already. Okay, other information will be shown on the right side of the screen. Okay, now coming on to the findings tab, here we can specify an overall experience of this test run. For example, let's say someone starts running the test cases but he finds that the server is responding too slow. Then here he can create a defect specifying that the server is quite slow. Similarly, he can provide the evidences over here 
by uploading the appropriate files. Overall comments can be added over here. Then moving below to the test details section, here we have three iterations for this test execution. Why? Because this is a parameterized test case. That is, we have provided parameters for this particular test case and we have provided three rows of data set with this test case. That is, three runs will be done for this test case. Now let's open each iteration and see what's there. Different steps involved with this test case will be shown under each iteration. Here again, one can write the comments, create the defects if you find any, provide the evidence if it is required, and then provide the appropriate status if the test step is passed or failed. Now, we need to perform the same action for all the steps. Once we have tested all the steps for one particular iteration, we can move on to the next iterations. Once all the iterations have been tested, we can see a bar over here highlighting what is the percentage of pass versus fail. Let's move on. The activity section over here will show you what all different activities have been performed for this particular test execution. Let's collapse it. The overall execution status will be shown on the left side of the screen over here. Once we have performed each of the iterations and run all the steps involved for those iterations. The finished on timing also got automatically updated as and when our test run was completed for all the iterations. Now here we also have an option to import the execution results from other frameworks. With that, let's move on to the next section 